good afternoon, good evening, those of you on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, and Spotify. I'm TK34 on Spotify, and we're in Deuteronomy chapter 3, the third chapter of Deuteronomy. Yes, on this beautiful Tuesday morning, yes, even the third day of the week, yes, the third day of the Egyptian calendar week. Okay, let's, let's, keep, it, let's keep it a buck. Anyway, let us pray. Oh, most holy I am that I am. We praise you. We give you the glory. Hallelujah. Oh, we give you the praise for all the things that you've done. We thank you that the kingdoms of this world have begun, become the kingdom of our God. Yes, the kingdom of our God. Yes, you are our king. You are our deliverer. You are the one that made us free. You have put a shout in our souls and a glory upon our heads. And you've caused our face to shine. Yes, you even caused us to pass over the waters of trouble and uh, go through the enemies without even a scratch. And we thank you for these things. Yes, 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 yes. We thank you for all things that you've done. We give you the glory and the praise for what you have done. Yes, and what you're about to do. And that you're going to subdue our enemies and that you're going to cause them to lay flat and prostrate before us and we thank you that these things are coming to pass oh we ask you to remove the fear remove the longing to sin and do that which is not lawful according to your law not their law ah uh, deal with the presidents deal with the leaders deal with those who hate the people and all they do is want their own things and we thank you for these things we give you the glory yes the deliverance has come to the children of the jacob and we thank you. Yes, 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 yes. We give God the glory and the praise. And we're going to forever rejoice. Because the thing is, he calleth those things that are not as though they are. And we're going to do the same thing. Yes, we're praying for Bruno Faso. We're praying for Benin. We're praying for Africa, the whole continent. Yes, God has given you that. And the people should not have to go in boats and die and fall over because of some person trying to get their resources and don't even want to build nothing in the country to give the people jobs the young people hope they do the same thing here in the united states we used to have it they took it away by so many means but yes we do applaud africa we applaud those of the people that go out and step on these leaders that do not want to get in line with what's going on that the people may prosper that the babies may have milk that the people might be where that their doctors even may get paid yes that the people can be able to afford the doctor's bills yes and we thank god for that we thank god for you i'm tk34 on spotify tyrone clay on tiktok and t clay on youtube now, or Mr. Clay on YouTube. We're in Deuteronomy chapter 3, the third chapter of Deuteronomy. And the I am goes on to say, when then we returned and went on to the way of Bashan and Og and the king of Bashan and came out of against, came out against him, he and all his people to battle at Idri. And the I am said to me, this is Moses talking, fear him not for I will deliver him and all his people and his land into thy hand. Thou shalt do unto them as thou, thou didst unto Sihon, king of the Amorites, which dwelt at Heshbon. Yes, fear them not. God's going to give you your land back. You can't be fearful of your leaders. You can't be fearful of those who come in their ships on your coast. Do not be fearful of that. For all they know, there could come a missile out of somewhere, a strike of lightning, and just tear the whole thing up. Or the men turn against each other. God got ways of dealing with your enemies. Okay? Now. He said, we dwelt at Heshbon, verse 3. So the I am our God delivered our hands into our hands, Og. He will deliver in your hands those, those big old giants that you thought that was so bad and mean and stuff. And you find out that, hey, I was just brain sieged. That's all you are, brain siege. You have a mind siege. There was a man who wrote a book about mind siege. Be careful that your mind is not sieged because of your enemy. Now. Also, he said, all this people and we smote him until none of us left, left to him remaining. In other words, they didn't care. The fact is, you attack us, you come at our babies. You, you fed them the alligators. You've done all these things. And if God tells us to do the same thing to you, that's what we're going to do. Yes, 
we go by our God, not by your law. But as we took all the cities at that time, there was not a city which we took not from them. Three score cities in all the region of Argob and the king of, kingdom of Og in Bashan. And these cities were fenced with high walls, gates, and bars beside unwalled towns and great, a great many. And we utterly destroyed them. We did unto Sihon, the king of Eshbon, utterly destroying the men, women, and children of every city. Yes, war is nasty. There is no love in war. For all the cattle at the spoil of the cities we took for prey to ourselves. And we took at that time out of the land. Oh, you, oh, oh how can Jesus come and say, oh, turn your feet from your, turn your cheek from your enemy. When here Israel and sit up there and told you, this is how we took the land. Did God change from that? No, he did not. Did God change from you defending yourself? No, he did not. If God called you on an offense, does God change from that? No. Stop being a sissy. Using these New Testament things that they've infused. Some of it is true, but most of it you have to really look at the Old Testament. God does not change. No, he doesn't. He does not change. And he says with Hezbron, the Sidonites are called Sidonians. Sidonians, Sid Sodomy, and all these other things called Siren, and all the Amorites called Sinai. And all the cities of the plain, all Gilead, all Bashan, all Sh Salka, Edri, cities of kingdom of Og and Bashan. For only king of Bashan remained in the remnant of the giants. Behold, his bedstead was a bedstead of iron, and it was not in Rabbath of the children of Ammon. Nine cubits was the length thereof, and four cubits the breadth thereof, after the cubic of a man. He's talking about the forearm. That's what he's talking about. Now, and this land which we possess at that time from Aor, which is by the river of Arnon, and the half mount of Gilead, the cities thereof, I gave unto the Reubenites and to the Gadites. And the rest of Gilead and all Bashan, being the kingdom of Og, I gave unto the half tribe of Anashi, and all the region of Agar with Bashan, and was called the land of giants. Jair, the son of Manasseh, took all the country of Agar unto the coast of Gishuri and Maachati, Ma yes, that's it, and called them after his own name was Bashan Havarachar unto this day. And I give Gilead unto Maka, and unto the Reubenites, and unto the Gadites I gave from Gilead even unto the river of Arnon, half the valley and the border, even to the river of Jabbok, which is the border of the children of Ammon. And the plain of Jordan and the coast thereof of Tinnereth even unto the sea of the plain, even the salt sea, unto Ashdoth Pisgah, eastward. And I commanded you that at that time, saying, The Lord your God, or the I am your God, have given you this land to possess it, and ye shall pass over it on before your brethren, the children of Israel, all that meet for war. But your wives and your little ones and your cattle, for I know that ye have much cattle, shall abide in your cities, which I have given you, until the I am gave rest unto your brethren as well as you, and until they also possess the land which the I am your God have given them beyond the Jordan, which then shall ye return every man to his possession, which I have given you. And I have commanded Oshea at the time, saying, Thine eyes have I seen, have seen all that the I am your God have, get, have done. And unto these two kings, so shall the I am do unto all the kingdoms, Whereas thou possessest, and ye shall not fear them. Ye shall not fear them. No. For the I am your God shall fight for you. In other words, you can, whew, they're going to fall. Okay? He says, I besought the, the I am at that time, saying, Oh, I am my God. Thou hast begun to show thy servant thy greatness and thy mighty hand, for what, is, what God is there in heaven or in earth can do according to thy works, according to thy might. I pray thee, let me go over and see the good land that is beyond Gortley, Jordan, and goodly mountain in Lebanon. But the I am was wroth with me for, the, for your sakes, and would not hear me. And the I am said unto me, let it suffice thee, speak no more unto me of this matter. 
and get thee up into the top of Pisgah, even up to thine eyes, westward, northward, southward, and eastward, and behold it with thine eye, for thou shalt not go over this Jordan. But charge O'Shea, even encourage him, and strengthen him, for he shall go over before his people, and he shall cause them to inherit the land which thou shalt see. So we abode in the valley over against Beth Peor. Yes, this is, this is, this is up to the point of Canaan. Some of you are going, going to go, you are going to go to war. Yes, you are. You young men, yes. You may be young women. You might be in the rear somewhere, but you're still going to war. And the fact is, is that God wants to give you the good of the land. The heathen have enjoyed the good of the land, the earth, for a long time. And this is a time for a breather. This is a time to kick back, but never get off your guard. Because the fact is, is that God is getting ready to come back. Now, when we get into the book of Enoch, you're going to see he wasn't talking about Esus. He wasn't a talking about no Jesus. He wasn't talking about none of that. That stuff, really, if you look at it and you read the books, it's made up. Much of it is made up. But he's talking about himself. He's going to come back with 10,000 of his elect. He's going to do it. Therefore, we ask you to get the book of Enoch. The book of Enoch, yes. You can get it at Amazon mostly. You will not find it at any Christian bookstore because they do not believe in this book. You're not going to find it in any bookstore, basically, unless it's a used bookstore. And because most of them are Christian controlled. So therefore, you have to order it off Amazon. And with that, we're going to say peace.